Welcome to the Titan Tar Channel. Today we have a topic to discuss about F-22 Raptors to lead America's first AI fighter drone swarm. Don't miss the chance to join us and share your opinions with us, subscribing and liking to grow our community. Become a member of our channel and evolve your rank. The U.S. Air Force is preparing to place its fifth-generation F-22 Raptor stealth fighters at the center of a major technological leap in air combat. Serving as the first operational controllers for its future fleet of AI-enabled collaborative combat aircraft drones. Starting in the 2026 fiscal year, the Air Force plans to equip the Raptor fleet with tablet-based control systems and other modifications to enable man-on-man -man teaming. This initiative falls under a newly established budget line item, the Crewed Platform Integration Program, which has requested over $15 million in funding. These upgrades will complement broader modernization efforts aimed at ensuring the F-22 remains a top-tier fighter capable of adapting to next-generation warfare environments. The introduction of CCA control systems will see 142 combat-coded F-22s outfitted with tablets, cabling, and associated infrastructure, each kit costing approximately $86,000. While the exact communications method between the Raptors and their drone counterparts is not yet confirmed, the aircraft's existing secure interflight data link is the likely choice. Tests involving the XQ-58 Valkyrie, acting as a CCA surrogate, have already demonstrated viable data sharing between F-22s and F-35s, an essential step toward a networked, multi-platform air combat force. Meanwhile, the Air Force is also investing heavily in the CCA program itself, with an $870 million request to further develop prototypes like General Atomic's YFQ-42A and Enduro's YFQ-44A. Up to 1,000 drones could be fielded in future increments, with operational deployment targeted by the end of the decade. Yet the challenge of integrating drones with manned fighters goes far beyond hardware. Questions remain about how pilots can manage advanced fighter jets while also directing semi-autonomous wingmen in complex air combat scenarios. While tablet-based interfaces have been selected as the fastest path to experimentation, officials acknowledge that more seamless and less intrusive systems will be needed in the future. Lockheed Martin, for instance, has already demonstrated its ability to control multiple drones from within the cockpit of an F. 22 or F-35. But as test pilots and engineers have noted, managing both the aircraft and drone operations in real time presents significant cognitive and physical strain, a gap that may eventually be narrowed by improving the autonomy of the CCAs themselves. To accelerate development, the Air Force has launched key programs like Project Venom and the Experimental Operations Unit, both focused on maturing the AI, autonomy, and test infrastructure necessary for future drone operations. VISTA, a highly modified F-16, and six additional F-16s are currently being used to explore tactical behaviors, such as multi-ship formations and offensive-slash-defensive air combat coordination. The 2026 budget includes over $62 million combined for Venom and the EOU, with the goal of refining autonomy architectures and testing real-world performance. As tablet integration moves forward across the F-22 fleet, the Air Force is clearly laying the operational foundation to transform these cutting-edge technologies into a cohesive, combat-ready force, one where human pilots and AI-controlled drones fly and fight together as a unified team. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. Your interactions mean a lot to us and help us grow. See you next time.